Hi guys, this is George from Mama RPG Center and today we're gonna take a look at Heroes and Generals. A new free-to-play online FPS with a strategic multiplayer campaign set in the midst of uh, World War uh, II Europe where uh, Axis and allies fight for uh, control of the map. The game uniquely merges epic first-person uh, action sh shooter with a strategic layer where uh, your decisions have the power to turn uh, the tide in a battle amongst thousands of uh, players. These players can choose to play as uh, heroes fighting in the trenches, flying planes, uh, commandering tanks and other uh, vehicles or take uh, control of the battlefield as a general by uh, determining the strategic duration of the war and supporting uh, fellow players by managing uh, battlefield assets, army units and uh, reinforcement. Most of your time in Heroes and Generals will be spent in a flash web interface where you can uh, manage your FPS soldiers, equip them with weapons, upgrade their weapons and equipment chat with other players or even uh, buy and move your personal assault teams division. The selling point of the game is that uh, whatever happens on the campaign map it's initiated by players, mostly generals that move their division to capture or defend cities. FPS players can join these battles and turn the tide and even their owners by uh, choosing their, their own uh, armies to spawn which in return it helps uh, their divisions to level faster. There are seven classes available for uh, soldiers at the moment, ranging from uh, infantry grunts up to tanks, commanders, air force pilots, uh, paratroopers and even uh, recon uh, snipers. As a player you can uh, have multiple uh, soldiers to play with and they can be used anytime in the battles by uh, changing the division type on uh, spawn. Generals have uh, at their disposal infantry divisions, tank divisions, recon and para troopers and of course uh, air force division. This can be bought with uh, the credits only acquired by uh, playing FPS game at the moment or by buying in-game currency and change it to credits. These armies can uh, level up and can be upgraded to hold improved equipment for their soldiers. For example, an infantry division, if it reaches a certain level, it can uh, upgrade it to motorized infantry or mechanized infantry. And uh, vehicles will be added and can be used for transport or uh, other tactics by uh, the players that uh, use that uh, division. The FPS side of the game is very well made with good graphics, variable uh, weather ranging from night, clear day, fog, morning, which adds a lot to the tactics involved, and the quality of the environments you are uh, fighting on. The weapons act as uh, realistically as uh, they can in this type of games. It's uh, more of balance between arcade and simulation similar to World of Tanks with a few problems at the moment on balance that uh, remain to be solved and usually we hope it's gonna be soon. Usually the mission objectives involve capturing or, or holding several points of interest on the map which are used uh, to spawn troops. The communication with the players and the management of the servers and products so far has been appalling and hopefully it will improve but despite the fact that the game was not even near to be ready for open beta due to broken features and imbalance the developers alone were forced by Square Enix decided to launch for free to play games, open beta means a uh, hidden launch, which uh, I'm afraid the game, uh, this game is not ready to be uh, at this stage of the development. In my uh, heart, uh, the game features a lot when the if the developers don't pull some huge updates and fixes to the game in the following uh, months. Overall, the game brings a unique uh, concept to life similar to Battleground Europe but much better made 
but unfortunately at the moment uh, it's managed poorly and lacks of serious polish and uh, it's not feature ready as uh, we expect uh, to see open beta memos or online games Coupled with the pay to win ideology, you can uh, buy credits with money in game at the moment, which makes the general to simply spawn several divisions with no experience, skills, or uh, neither earned. But still, I recommend you to try it because it's a very interesting experience, even if it's in a rough shape. And wait for a few patches, fixes, updates before you spending uh, your uh, precious money since at the moment it's not clear if they can uh, pull it off. Fortunately uh, the game it can be played uh, free for free but uh, with a humongous green. So yeah we'll see how it goes. I really like this game and uh, I hope that uh, they can fix the problems and turn it into a polish and successful online uh, FPS with strategy. So that's about it guys, have fun and see you on the battlefield.